Hello YouTubers, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I really do appreciate all of the comments, advice um, and subscriptions that you guys give me. I really do appreciate it. I do apologise if there are um, times when I don't get to answer all of your emails or comments or questions. It has been quite a weird year and but it, there have been a lot of fun parts in it the fact that i've been able to review so many cameras in the last year has just been really really good and the generosity from kodak and their help towards me has just been absolutely brilliant so merry christmas to you kodak thank you very much um so yeah i just wanted to say thanks for all your support and advice i really do appreciate it and all of your nice comments and subscriptions. I try to sub back people that sub me. If you message me or comment me, then I will try and sub you as well. Also, I would like to sort of answer a question. Somebody asked me what I thought was the best all-round Pocket HD camcorder that was out now because of a previous video that I'd done. Um, in that previous video, I said that the ZX3 was the best at the time. Now... To be honest with you, because there's so many cameras out that I haven't tested, I don't think it would be fair to say that there is one specific one that does everything and is the best overall camera. I think the ZX3 is still high up on the list, but I think the only way that I can really answer that question is to tell you guys what my favourite cameras are. And also I want to sort of mention a couple of cameras that I would like to review. First up, my two main cameras that I use and that are my favourites is the Panasonic DC1 and the Kodak Play Touch. Now the reason I use the DC1 is because of the flip out screen. It makes my life a lot easier. Okay, the audio isn't that great because of the background hiss, but because of all the other features that it's got and that flip out screen, that's why I use it a lot. Um, also, the Kodak Play Touch, the reason I use that a lot is because of the external mic. Um, the audio is the best with the external mic in. I did do a mic test with all of my cameras, and the one that came out the best with the onboard mic was the ZI8. But that was before I had the Samsung W200, so I don't know whether that would be any different. Two cameras that I would like to review... Philips have got a range of cameras which look really interesting. They're called the Philips Easy Cam range. I'll put some pictures up so you guys can see what they are. There's four cameras. One's a waterproof camera. The other three are a variation on the same kind of camera. So depending on how much money you spend on it will depend on what kind of frame rates you get and what kind of stills you get. The waterproof one looks quite interesting, especially because of the flash. I haven't seen any sort of reviews about the Philips cam range yet, and there's not really a lot on YouTube about it. Maybe in the next couple of months there will be more information on them, but they do look quite interesting. The next range of cameras that I'm interested in is the Sony Bloggy. Now I know I've neglected the Bloggy for quite some time, and the reason is, is that when I had my bloggy, it had a focusing issue. So, and that was the main reason why I sold it. But recently, some of you have been asking me about the bloggy range, and that sort of got my interest in it again. So I checked out the bloggy range. You've got three cameras, the bloggy 3D, the bloggy duo, and the bloggy touch. Now the one that gets my interest is the bloggy duo, and that's because of the... Uh, front facing screen. The amount of times I've had a lot of hassle with my other cameras because I can't see what I'm recording is just, you know, it's so annoying. And to have that screen, like the flip out screen, to be able to see what you're recording makes such a difference. So I would really like to get hold of the Sony Bloggy Duo and review that and see what that's like. Whether I'll be able to review those cameras or not, I don't know, and we'll have to wait and see. Um, maybe sometime next year I might be able to. I'm not going to be getting a replacement 
W200 just yet because I want to wait and see what the sales are like and also I want to wait and see what comes out in um, after the CES show in January because I think there will be some interesting cameras that come out so I'm sort of holding off from getting another one just to see what comes out and what is in the sales and all that sort of stuff. As far as next year is concerned I think I will be doing a sort of review of the cam new cameras that come out um, but it won't be a hands-on review it will just be based on what the internet says and what the specifications are obviously if any of the companies decide to send me a camera then I will be reviewing them and I'll be very happy to <laughs> but at the moment I'm not really it doesn't really look like that's going to happen so we'll have to wait and see on that one so there you go that's my video again I hope you have a good Christmas and I might do another video on New Year's Day but I don't know yet so if I don't Happy New Year Merry Christmas and I hope you have an absolutely spectacular time over the holidays okay that's enough from me bye bye for now